Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at amplitude modulation in a very rudimentary way. In the previous video, looking at the property 4, frequency shifting property for Fourier transform, we realized that if we take the Fourier transform of a function in the time domain, we get a function in the frequency domain. And then if we take that very same function and multiply it times e to the j omega t, omega sub naught being a fixed frequency, then that causes a shift in the frequency in the frequency domain by the same amount. So then we realize that if we then multiply, instead of multiplying the function in the time domain by e to the j omega t, but we multiply times the cosine of omega t, which is a continuous sinusoidal function, then we get the same result, but now we get a shift to the left of omega 1 and a shift to the right of omega 1. So if we multiply times the cosine of omega 1, the fixed frequency, we see a shift of that frequency to the left and a shift to the right in the frequency domain. Also, the amplitude will have been reduced for each one of those by one half. Then we can take a different function in the time domain and multiply it times a different cosine with a different frequency and have that shift in a different amount. So the shift will be different than we have from the first one. And then we can repeat that over and over and over again. So then we keep shifting the signal, a new signal, by a different amount of the frequency so they don't overlap, they don't interfere with one another. Basically, if these functions in the time domain are signals to be transmitted, then if we multiply each of the functions by a different cosine with a different frequency offset, then we can see that in the frequency domain, these signals to be transmitted will now be transmitted at different frequencies and not to interfere with each other. And then with the correct electronics, we then pull out the frequency that we want to tune into or listen to. So the domain then allows the radio and TV broadcast at multiple frequencies. And that's what we're trying to do. So that's what we mean by amplitude modulation. It allows the shifting of the frequency at which you want to broadcast the signal. And we do that by simply taking the function in time domain and, trans and then multiply times the cosine before we do a Fourier transform of the signal and turning it from a time domain function into a frequency function. And that's how it's done.